Modified Mercalli intensity scale uses Roman numerals that we can see here. These Roman numerals are used to make it a little bit different looking than the Richter scale, which does not use Roman numerals. But it basically rates it on a scale all the way up to Roman numeral 11, so 1 to 11. Here is what a 1 would look like. And people don't really feel any movement at all. 1 on the Mercalli scale doesn't do any damage whatsoever. People don't even feel it. Okay, so what about a 2? On the Mercalli scale, people start to feel the earthquake. Okay, but really, nothing happens in terms of damage. Just notice it. Now, out of three, people outdoors might not feel anything at all, but people indoors, especially higher up, are going to definitely start to feel it. And no damage. Or dishes, windows, things like that, doors are going to rattle for a few people outdoors, and now they can start to feel it if you're outdoors. Okay, Maybe some cars are going to park. Parked cars are going to rattle back and forth a little bit. So this is the first time that people outdoors can actually feel it. Up until this point, only people indoors are really going to be able to feel this. For five. People are feeling it. People are going to get woken up by the shaking from that earthquake. But again, no real damage. Okay. At a six, this is the first time we start to see some damage. So we can have broken glass. Okay, people can have trouble walking. Objects are falling down from shelves and things like that. Furniture starts to move. We might get some cracks in walls, but damage is relatively slight. Okay, there isn't a lot of damage here. So, at a seven, if you have a poorly built or old building, those things can start to be Newer buildings, though, are going to be okay. People are going to have difficulty standing. Cars are going to shake back and forth pretty bad. So we're going to start to see some damage here at a seven. Okay. So at an eight, drivers are going to have trouble steering. Tall structures such as towers and chimneys are going to twist and fall. Again, really well-built buildings are going to only suffer slight damage. Okay? But we definitely feel it. There's going to be some damage, but slight damage to new buildings. Our older buildings that aren't structurally as sound are going to have some problems. Okay, so now even our well-built buildings at a 9 are going to get considerable damage. Okay. We can have pipes underground start to rupture. So up until this point, underground pipes were, generally speaking, going to be okay. But now we're starting to really start to see some damage to the city, especially the newer buildings. Okay. At a 10, well, this is pretty damaging now. Most buildings and their foundations are going to get destroyed. Some of the buildings, new and old, can be destroyed or at least damaged. And if we have any dams around, well, those can be seriously damaged as well, which can cause some issues as well. As you can see, we can have fires break out because of all the electrical things that are being destroyed. We're still going to have underground problems as well. And these fires can really start to spread through the city because now we can't put them out because our water mains have ruptured. So trying to put wa uh, water onto a fire is going to be very difficult. So these fires can spread through the city. Now 
and 11 is considered to be the strongest. So we can have collapsing of buildings, bridges being destroyed, underground pipelines destroyed. You're talking about pretty much the city coming to a to the ground here. Okay? Doesn't mean every building will, but an 11 is basically as much damage as can happen to a city. And you're going to have a really difficult time putting out fires because there's no water to put them out. One of the main pillars of people really is after an earthquake, these fires spreading through the city because 